Today we're checking out the Tribit Stormbox Flow Bluetooth speaker. And this one may look familiar, but is kind of surprising to me is just how good this sounds when compared to the more popular speakers like the Soundlink Flex by Bose. Inside the box, you've got a quick start guide and USB-C to USB-C charging cable. The build quality is right on par with Bose, in my opinion. Feels very similar, similar size and shape. Even the charging port is on the same side. It's got a similar metal grill there on the front and both are covered by a silicone feeling material covering most of the speaker although the Bose material does feel a tad more premium or softer probably the biggest difference between these two is gonna be the price normally just under 80 bucks for tribit but it's 20% off as of this video which makes it about half the price of the Bose Soundlink Flex you have all the controls there on the top like power Bluetooth volume up and down play and pause, EQ and TWS pairing button there as well. If you want to pair this to another Stormbox Flow speaker, similar to the Bose speaker app, you can control music through the Tribit app. You can see the battery life. You also have the option of choosing different EQ presets. You can also do firmware updates and a few other things to customize in there as well. If you haven't used either of these two speakers, don't be fooled by the size. They're both actually much louder than I was expecting. And surprisingly, the Storm Box flow is a little louder than the Bose speaker, going up to 112 decibels versus 109 for Bose. Obviously, that's going to depend on what types of stuff you're listening to, but they're both waterproof. But one advantage for Tribit is you've got up to 30 hours playback versus only 12 for Bose and then both take about four hours to charge back up. You can stand both speakers up or lay them down while playing music. For this test, I'm standing both up. I'll play a few clips of each just to give you an idea of what they sound like. So it may be hard to tell from this video when it comes to the sound quality, but if you have these right next to each other, it's actually really hard to tell the difference. I will mention though, for Tribit, it does seem to have a tad bit more bass when using the X bass EQ setting. Like I said, both of these are very close, which is pretty impressive considering the cost difference. So really nice job by Tribit. So a pretty easy choice for me on which one I would go with. Here's a couple more samples, just so you can see just how close these two are. Bye.
So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.